as I'm sure many of you know, um, I've previously recorded a video that showed you how to scrape images using um, Google Images Download. Um, and as you probably know, that doesn't work anymore. Um, Google recently updated their API and it broke a lot of these scrapers, um, in particular that one. So that happens to be one of my most popular videos um, that I've ever recorded. And unfortunately, I am constantly left with people saying, this is broken, can you fix it? Uh, and unfortunately, it seems like it's a Google issue, not the repo. Um, but uh, just yesterday, uh, one of my students, John Smith, um, mentioned that he was able to get this working, which is a Bing image downloader. Um, and I ran it earlier today as well, and I found it super simple to use. So um, I thought it'd be a good idea to record a video on it. So first off, thanks, John. And hopefully those of you bugging me about the Google Images downloader will use this and find it as helpful. Um, okay, so this is the URL for it. I'll post this in our video description, um, but it's pretty easy to install. So the first thing is you're just gonna grab the GitHub repo um, URL, and you're gonna come back to uh, Terminal, and you're just gonna do a git clone. So we're gonna git clone that URL. Um, and then we're gonna move into that folder. So that is bulk dash bing dash image dash downloader. Um, so what's really cool is you don't need to install any of the software. This is pretty much ready to go. So because it already has, it doesn't rely on any dependencies, you also don't need to set up a like a conda environment or anything else. So it's pretty cool. Um, so let's take a look at the documentation for it. So it looks like a uh, really simple usage is just um, doing dot slash bbid dot py and then what your search term is. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So let's just grab this command. And instead of hello world, let's do, um, let's do fluffy cat. And we'll hit return. And now it's downloading a bunch of images. Um, you will see here that some of them are not able to be downloaded and it'll say fail and some are. Um, so we'll just go ahead and stop this. And that stopped our command. And if I come over to um, my folder where my images are, you'll see that it creates a folder called Bing. And inside that folder are, sure enough, some fluffy cats. Um, so that is really, really simple. Um, you know, maybe not the best resolution for a lot of these, but it's still pretty good. Um, you will have a lot of cases, as, we, as you do with Google Images or anything else. You may do a lot of cleaning on this, but you, you are able to scrape a ton of images. Um, let's see if there's another couple options here. So advanced filtering. Um, so there is a way to limit how many images you want to get. So let's go ahead. I'm going to delete this folder. And let's rerun the command we had. And let's passion dash dash limit. And then let's just say we want 10. So that gives you 10 images. And you'll see only you know, five of them downloaded. Um, and that's because it looks like many of these other ones probably failed. Actually, it doesn't look like that. It just says, okay, let's try this again. Let's try a uh, 20. Oh, and this is a nice little feature as well as it does so tell you are which ones have already been downloaded. So it's not saving extra ones. Um, so I am noticing that this is like, it looks to be only taking about half of the number I give it, which is um, surprising. And so that's how we got 24 and one failed. So it does look like the limit is being divided in half. I might um, add an issue for that and try to figure that out. Um, there are other filters here. So there's a place where you can just determine the output. Um, I bet if we do that, that just gives us an output folder. So if we go ahead and do uh, dash O, dash, yeah, dash O, and then dot slash, let's call it fluffy cats and hit return. And let's see where our folder ended up. Yeah, so that's how you can uh, provide a folder. Otherwise, it'll just default to a folder called Bing. Cool. So let's see what other features are here. So search file, interesting. So my guess is you can give it a file and that would um, maybe have a bunch of search terms in it. Um, adult filter on, adult filter off. I'm sure you know what that means. I can't test that on this account without getting my account flagged. Um, and then filters. So there is a note here about doing advanced filtering. It looks like what you can do is you can do a Bing search and you can take some of these advanced filters like this 
um, and you can apply it to your file. So let's actually go try that. I have not used uh, Bing Image Search in a while, so let's look at it. All right, Big Image Search. And let's do a fluffy cat. And sure enough, we'll see some of the images we had here. Um, so if we do filter, and then we do image size, and then we do extra large, I believe that's going to add a filter. Yep, so up here we have a filter UI, and it will give us um, image size wallpaper. So let's go ahead and pass that in and see how that works. So we're going to do up again, and we're going to do dash, and what was the command I wanted? Dash filters, and then plus filter UI. So let's go ahead and say dash filters. And I believe you want to do plus in the front of it. Is that right? Is that what they did here? Yep, so it looks like it's plus filters. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see if we only get big fluffy cats. So I'm going to change my output to be um, big fluffy cats. All right, and it is dash dash filters. Yep, and you'll see those are much higher resolution. Um, you know, it's still some smaller images, so it's, you know, this isn't a perfect image filtering system. Um, you'll probably still want to dump this into uh, like data set tools and then uh, do a post process. So you'll, you know, with any of this, you want more images than you're actually going to end up using. Um, but I thought this was really cool. It took me like three minutes to install this, um, and it's got a decent amount of uh, features to it. So, I um, thought this was a really cool tool. Thanks again, John Smith, um, for recommending it to me. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a bunch of other data set videos. We're going to be doing a bunch of data set videos um, over the base of the next month because I'm teaching a data sets class. So expect a lot more of uh, new scraping techniques, ways to filter your data sets, um, tips and tools for how to process your data, uh, that sort of thing. So um, if you have questions, drop a note either on the YouTube channel or on Slack, and I'll see you next time.